Good day and welcome to Stompit Basement Reviews. In this video we're gonna look at three red ski goggles for the coming season. There's some links in the description if you want to buy some of these goggles and I'll get a tiny amount of money for reviewing these products so I can make more educational ski content. Let's get started. So the first goggle up, the Oakley Line Miner. I ski with this goggle for two, maybe three seasons. It's a good goggle and it's perhaps the coolest goggle on the market. It has a big field of view this way and this way. It is really good. It has a nice wide strap with the rubber bits on the inside so it doesn't slide on the helmet. I really enjoy this goggle. And even if it's really wet and you're really sweaty, they are really difficult to fog up. So it's all in all a good goggle. What is bad about this goggle? First one is mm, price, kind of. It's not the prices in this review, but it's up there. Next thing is, it is so big that it may not fit your face. And the next thing that's not so good, it's so cool that people may not want to talk to you because you look too red. It's a bit of a downside. And the lenses. Our prism is very hyped. But I feel like all lenses today are more or less the same. There are only good lenses on the market at the moment. Uh, and the last bad thing is it's really annoying to change the lens. It takes quite a while. So this is the Oakley Line Miner for you. The second goggle is the Atomic Revent. All right. So what's good about this goggle is the following. It's breathability meaning it doesn't fog up easily at all. It is good, but it's not as good as the Oakley, I would say. These ones has fogged up for me, but definitely on the good side. Next thing, the lens I'm having right now, this orange one, looks nice with my jacket, and it has really good properties in almost all weathers. Because of this light orange tone, I see very well in whiteout and going down like north faces at the end of the day, like on the shadow side, it's very good. The last good thing is it has a very good field of view up and sideways like the Oakley. While it feels almost as good, not quite as good as the Oakley I think, I think it would fit more faces this goggle. Because I have such an average size face and it fits me very well. What's bad about the goggle? It's a little bit pricey but a little cheaper than the other two. And I forgot what the other thing is. What is bad? Oh yeah, it's kind of hard to change lenses on it. Because you really like have to pull it out. It doesn't have a quick change system. But to be honest, I, I almost never change lenses because I'm so happy with this orange tint FDL HD. So yeah, that's the bad. And also I think it's a little bit bad that it doesn't come with a more black strap. I like things to, especially my goggles, to be as black as possible so they fit well with any kind of clothing I'm wearing. While it's kind of cool looking goggle, it's not quite as cool as the other two. Next goggle. All right, let's check out this cool sustainable goggle from Spectrum. Pretty cool looking. They're from a Swedish company from the north up there where I come from actually. And they made it a, their highest priority to make as sustainable goggles as possible. So let's talk about that first. So spectrum, spectrum, spectrum. First thing that's good about them, they're as sustainable as goggles can be produced right now, where large parts of the frame is made out of non-edible corn, uh, or 64% of it. That's pretty cool, I'd say. The, the lens is not possible at the moment to make that particularly uh, bio-based. And then even this logo here, it's recycled aluminum and you got uh, recycled polyester in this. Like they've done a pretty good job. But can they make a good goggle? Oh, I think it's cool. So that's another good thing. It looks nice. Clean shapes. Like the lens is a size lens. The one that's on this one is a blue. It gives a little bit of an orange brown tint I'm certain it would work in many different weathers never skied with this one because they gave me this goggle in blue can you believe that blue 
it doesn't match. Black is the only Google color for me. So, and also the next thing that's nice, it also has a really wide strap, similar to the Oakley. These two have the widest straps, which is really nice. What is not so good with this one is, while it has a pretty big um, like footprint on your face, it's pretty large, it's also pretty thick. So the, the view is kind of poor compared to the other two. That way, this way is all right, but it's also less good. And also it presses on my nose. I think it's because the whole goggle is kind of thick this way. And it doesn't leave much space for my average size nose. The last bad thing about it is the price, I guess. It comes in at like 165 bucks, like that a price is one out of the three. I think the Oculus can occasionally be this expensive too, but yeah, a bit pricey. And for having a quick lens changing mechanism, it's not very quick or easy to change it. But all in all, I think they're onto something great, this company, and yeah, I'd like to see more stuff like this from uh, the Google manufacturers. I don't think ski goggles are gonna save the world, but every little bit helps. So that are the three rad looking goggles for the coming season. We got the line miner for the park rat. We got the atomic revent for like the free rider carving guy that wants one goggle to perform all the time. We got one for the environmentally conscious person that's willing sadly to pay the price with maybe fit, but maybe have a better face that fits the goggle. Um, I think they're all dope looking and I would ski in any of them. At least if this one was in black, blue doesn't work for me. There's links in the description for where you can buy any of these goggles and we will make a tiny amount of money from your purchase at no cost of yours at all. And it would help us a lot to make more content. Thank you and see you in the next one.